Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how we can use MAN equation to find velocity and discharge. We have this example. We have a concrete trap radar channel has a bottom slope of S0 equal to 0 0.0009 and a manning roughness factor N equal to 0 0.013. The bottom width of the channel is B equal to 2.5 meter and the side slope is a M equal to 2. It means two horizontal, one vertical. We have to find velocity and discharge when the flow is normal at a depth of 1.8 meter. That's our channel. That's the depth. That's the bottom width and that's the side slope. Two horizontal, one vertical. Bed slope, S sub naught. Okay, that's the given. Manning roughness factor is given. Bottom width and side slope, depth and bed slope is given. Required, we have to find velocity and discharge. Solution. That's the Manning equation for finding velocity, which equal to K N over N roughness, hydraulic reduced to power two over three, and S sub F, which is the friction slope to the power one over two. And this is the Manning equation to find discharge in the same way, just we added area. What's K N? K N is a conversion factor. For SI units, it, it's equal to one. But for imperial units, uh, Kn equal to 1.49. We have to take care of this. But in this uh, problem or example, we use SI unit. So we replace Kn with 1. So it has no effect. Okay. It, first, we have to find area. Uh, area equal to B plus MY multiply Y. B equal to 2.5. M side slope equal to 2 y depth which is equal to 1.8 then after putting the numbers the values uh, we get the area equal to 10.98 meter square in the same way we have to find uh, hydraulic radius because hydraulic radius equal to area over perimeter width perimeter so we have to find width perimeter that is the equation to find width perimeter which equal to b plus 2y multiply 1 over m square this term represents the two sides, this side and this side, because width perimeter means the sides of channel which has contacted with the water. B, that is B, 2y square root 1 over m square, it is this two sides. How we got this? By Pythagoras theorem. We see if we have a triangle like this, A, B, C, hypotenuse, so C equal to A squared plus b square a square one b square which is m in here so it will be the side for the small one when multiply y it will be the side or hypotenuse for the large uh, triangle as you see okay then p equal to 2.5 plus 2 the depth 1.8 1.8 uh, and square root of 1 plus m square which equal to 10.55 meter. Now we have everything to find hydraulic radius. So hydraulic radius equal to area over P, area equal to 10.98 over width perimeter, which is 10.55, so equal to 1.04. Now we have to find a velocity. SF somewhat different with the S0, but SF SF is the slope of energy grade line, friction slope. But while we have a constant velocity and depth, it, it, it will be parallel with the bottom slope. So we can replace it with S0. So here we use S0 instead of SF because they are parallel. So just put the values, we get the result for velocity. Kn1, because we use SI unit, N factor, equal to 0.013 r we got it 1.04 to the power 2 over uh, 2 over 3 multiply s naught which is equal to 0.009 square root the result is 2.37 meter per second that is the velocity one of the requirement we got it for finding discharge in the same way just put the values we have everything just we add 10.98 uh, 
to find the discharge so we get the result 26 meter cube per second that's all i hope it can be helpful have a nice time